Okay, hi everybody. Welcome back to my channel. And my channel is all about things on lifestyle, self-improvement, positivity about Nigeria and its people. And today I'm going to be talking about one of my favorite things. I love movies and I love Netflix and I love Nollywood as a Nigerian. I love Nollywood. And I feel like Nollywood is doing some really great things as far as entertainment and even contributing to the Nigerian economy. So for today, I'm excited. I'm excited to be talking to another movie lover, a movie expert, movie genius. <laughs> I started to talk to her about like top five movies of Nollywood in Netflix that you have to watch that you can't miss. So I just want you to introduce yourself a little bit, Cynthia, and tell us a little bit about what you do as a YouTuber. <laughs> All right. Thank you very much, Ikeoma. Hi everyone, I'm mm -hmm. Cynthia and I'm also a YouTuber. I talk yes. about movies, I view movies, um, any genre, Hollywood, yeah. movies, Bollywood movies, I talk about them on my channel. So yeah, I'm also a Nollywood lover because like, I've seen like a lot of great Nollywood movies and I'm so excited yeah. to talk awesome. about them again. Yes. <laughs> Cynthia sent me her YouTube channel like last year and I was like, this is so awesome mm -hmm. to like, you know, to see somebody talking about movies, which is something I like to do. I typically write about movies on Medium, but I've done a few movie reviews, but I'm just like such a movie lover. So I was like, now that I'm back on YouTube, we should collaborate because I think her channel is awesome. So for today, we are going to be talking about top five movies in Netflix that is produced by Nollywood that people should watch. And there are different genres. We are going to cover drama. We are going to cover romance. We are going to cover action, comedy, and also gender-based violence, because that's something I'm passionate about. So to start off with, the first theme we are going to cover is drama. So Cynthia, tell us, what is one um, a film in Netflix of Nollywood that's drama that we should watch? All right, so the Griot, this is a yes. drama movie. Has like mm -hmm. and this movie is a really interesting one. Yeah, because I've not yeah. seen the trailer of this movie, but I like I just saw it on this and I started to watch it. And I would say mm -hmm. this movie which really beat my expectation. You know, it's a movie about a shy, a shy storyteller. He was so yeah. shy, he could not like, like he was really, really shy to be able to, you know, come out in crowds and tell people stories. Instead, he tells his friend, and his friend mm -hmm. is a very bold person and outstanding, a spoken person. So he yeah. goes out and tells them, and he takes the story and says his own, like he does not say the truth that like his friend, yeah. Lafonle, yeah. that tells you the story. So what I love about this movie was the whole, the whole making of the movie, the organization yeah. of the movie. I really enjoyed it a lot. You know, getting to see the flop in this movie was like it was so rare and one thing i also liked was i loved the way the movie ended i like yeah. the fact that they made yeah i love the fact that they made her die at the end of the movie yeah. which yeah some people would think that being heartbreaking but yeah i really liked it just kind of like put a position where you understand that yeah mm -hmm. people can go as far as being like so dangerous in terms of being very jealous so yeah mm -hmm. i love the way the movie was constructed so I recommend you if you haven't seen the Grey yet. Yeah, I recommend yeah. the twenty twenty one, twenty twenty two movie. So yeah, I recommend. Yeah, twenty twenty one movie actually. It came out in twenty twenty one. Yeah. yeah. And I, I also I just watched, was it like early this year or last year that I watched? And I love the movie also. I think it's such a sweet story. Like, I love the storytelling of it. I like the fact that it takes place like in a village setting because most of these um, Nollywood movies, they typically take us like in those urban settings, which is good, you know, usually in Lagos, modern families, yeah, exactly. professional career women. So I like the fact that mm -hmm. when we watch it, we get to feel like, oh, what is life like, like in the rural setting? What is life like in the village yeah. setting? And I also like that That's it's about like, you know, a storyteller. <laughs> As a writer, I like to like watch the movie and know that, okay, it's about this storyteller and he gains popularity through telling his stories. And I think that Sam Mini's character was really good, even though he's sort of like the antagonist. I like the fact that he was very bold and he's very charismatic. Yeah, yeah, and Lacule's character, <laughs> Latif's character, like I thought he was really sweet as the shy guy. 
And also, of course, um, Tiwa, like you said, it was so sad to see her die. Like in the end, when they ended up killing her, like I was so heartbroken, like I wanted to cry, but I thought that it was like, it's still different. It's a unique story. It didn't have to have a happy ending, yeah. but I felt like yeah. the storyline was sweet. And Tiwa was such like a strong character and so determined. And she was not like um falling for so many things like that. So like, she was just like, you know, totally supportive to Lacun Lee. And I love that about her character, you know? So I feel like this story was just such a good thing. I love that it's very different from what we typically see. And definitely exactly. I agree that for like a drama, people should definitely watch it. And I feel like that movie, I would give it like a nine out of 10. What would you give it for like a rating? I'll give it an eight. Oh, yeah, an eight, it's really? You will not give it a nine? Yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I would oh, give it like, a nine. I, I actually like, really love this and I would watch it again. They're back. Sorry, the network can be a bit somehow. But you're back, right? Oh, you can okay. hear me? Yeah, yes. Okay. okay. Yeah. So you said you gave it an eight out of ten. Yeah. The plot okay. for the whole palace, I feel like one of the things, I said the movie was really good and like it's so yeah. the plot of the movie is like this little. But like that <laughs> palace where you know they were trying to where they said Lafule was the actual like was the yes the yes was the real person yeah the yeah. stories yeah so, like, I feel like that part you know the whole juggling in and out I felt like it was not really I feel like they would have constructed it in a more better way okay, but just okay. that little okay. part besides that the whole yeah. the other part of the movie because the movie was a really intense movie very captivating yeah it was Literally, you know, you're just like so expecting what happens next. Like you're like so yeah. anxious. You know those times when it seems like okay, Tiwa was coming close to last only, then yeah. boom, when he's supposed to talk, he's not <laughs> saying anything. So, like that yes. suspense, you know, wanting him to talk, yeah. just the movie puts me like puts it like yes. like this. So yeah. <laughs> that scene actually i kind of wish that they would have showed him telling the story more when he's like saying that oh he's the original person telling the story i would have wanted mm -hmm. to see how he sort of like improved on his speaking and telling the story but i feel like yeah, they sort of skipped yeah. it yeah mm -hmm. to be honest i feel like um Tammy Lolua, I hope I, I'm saying his name well, even though he's the antagonist, I feel like i loved his acting more and even the scene where he's running yeah. away and they now show him acting crazy I sort of liked him as lead character, yeah. but yeah, yeah there are certain yeah, scenes. Yeah, yeah that could definitely be better. Mm -hmm. like, I really love the character a lot. He really embodied the character very well. Yeah. Really good. I love his, his whole intonation. His speech yes. Very, 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 very speech. Yeah, I really enjoyed the character very well. Yeah. You know, and I want to see him in more things. I don't really see him in that many films, but maybe I'm yeah. not just looking out for him because I feel like I don't really see him in that many things as an actor. Yeah. I think yeah. this, you know, like there's this in Hollywood does where like they bring out one person. I don't know where they discover them from and they make <laughs> them like the lead actor in that movie. Yeah. Like, so I feel like that was what they did for him. Okay, in that okay. Movie. Yeah. yeah. Well, okay, so now we are going to our next movie. We talked about the first one that you should watch as drama, and that is The Griot. Yeah, and now the yeah. second movie that you should watch for romance. Tell us, Cynthia, what should people watch in Hollywood for romance? <laughs> Ah, the man, uh, the man of God, yeah, the man of God. This movie, hmm, when I saw this movie, I was, I was so, I was smiling ushered uh, because this movie brought a kind yeah. of, uh, let me say, should I say revitalization? Just felt so mm. refreshed. Yeah, I really enjoyed Akan's character a lot yeah. in this movie. You know, it was it's more so like stubborn. main, main person. Yeah, it's so, yeah. It's like, so stubborn. And I, I think I saw a different part of him because like I yeah. used to see him before. I've not really seen him shine this far, like this long mm. in movie. So yeah. seeing him, I was smiling. I was and I love the fact that this movie <laughs> had different directions, different tones. Yeah. You know, aside yeah. from him being the bad boy down to being a pastor, being a bad boy, yeah. and, and down to him being the most good stuff. So I really enjoyed mm -hmm. the movie a lot. I love yeah. the whole position. I felt like the movie had a balance, you know, from him being a child, the pastor's son now with the school, yeah. so stubborn, has so many girls now, all of yes. the time, because he loved the joy, and mm -hmm. joy was his weakness, he became selfish, he became yeah. so weak, and hmm. I, although it pains me that he lost everything, and like, him losing everything, 
it was not but he he wasn't a good guy so the fact that he lost everything that was his karma that was the thing <laughs> he wasn't a good guy yeah he was just very little like he wanted yeah. to do everything for joy just like that <laughs> so i feel like nah but i really and they really did well in this movie to be honest like i love the year they did the movie like it was nearly perfect although it was long but I yeah. feel like it's what because like this movie is very captivating. It just kind of like keeps you like on it, and you just literally yeah. want to keep on going and know what happens next. So yeah. Mm. It was two hours there. Yeah, you're right. It was long, but to be honest, it was very fun to watch. Like, it was very entertaining. You yeah. won't even feel like the time is going by. As far as the mm-hmm. acting, Aka as Sam, well, to be honest, I haven't watched that many films with him. I've sort of just like seen him in some movies. But he definitely did a good job as sort of like this guy who's a bad guy. He's stubborn. He can't sleep mm-hmm. with anybody. He doesn't really care. I didn't like that his character was that way, but I think he did a good job, you know. And I love yeah. certain scenes of especially like after university where he's like playing music and the concerts. I just love that setting yeah. and scene of him playing music. And for me, like, I know you said this one is your own favorite as romance. For me, as far as romance, I feel like Isoken is my favorite. But this movie, I felt like... um just the drama just the storyline like you said is actually really good because the fact that it started off like oh he's this young guy his dad is not treating him well he runs away from the home and then he later mm-hmm. comes back you know and to be honest his life has not been perfect like he started to be a pastor but then he lost everything so i just love the whole coming back scene where he's now like okay he's going to give his life to god he has to praise god because things didn't work out so I felt like this story, um, the storyline, like it was really good and the way they built things up and then even the way it ended, yeah. like, I feel like it's yeah. unique because there are certain times when we watch movies in Hollywood and then somebody d- just dies or like, you don't even know what is happening. <laughs> and I'm like, why are they ending it like this? So even if the, even though mm-hmm. the mom did die, somebody did die, I still felt like the ending. When I watched it, I was like, oh, wow, this is really sweet. This is really interesting. And as far as like acting, some of the people that I really liked, um, Rekha, that was like his girlfriend that he's been sleeping around yeah. with. Like she was also very stubborn. <laughs> I know she's not like completely one of the lead characters, but Doc has yeah. like her acting. Like I love how her character is just feisty and bold and adventurous. And she's like, oh, she wants yeah. to jab her, this and that. Was cool I hated the fact that she had to die though. But I think her acting mm-hmm. was really good. And then also like um Teju, that is Osas who played Teju, yeah, you know, who was yeah. like always in love with him and supportive. Like she is yeah, such a good actress. Like I loved her acting. Like she really commands the screen. And even like there was that scene where he's like saying that, oh, he's going to run off to Canada. And she's she exactly. was not telling her that's like, oh, I'm miserable. Me, I was like, she's been supporting him since university, even though he was flirting with her friend. She's like, oh, yeah. I'm going to stick to this guy, be by his side. And he's opening his mouth to say, oh, I'm miserable. I mean, no, I mean, but like, I, I love her acting. Yeah. And yeah. she's like, oh, I'm and going to go with you. <laughs> huh? And you will notice that, you will notice that in the movie. Like, yeah. From when, like, yeah. when her character was introduced, she didn't really yeah. shine so much. No, she, she didn't, like, though. She was like, yeah, she was yeah, like, yeah. back to the character. She was just yeah. there with him all but that this particular thing you talked about, make sure yes. so you agree to leave me. Hey, uh-huh. and also, ah. That's why I said his character was yeah, stubborn, okay. stubborn. So come on, did come back to him. Yes. And as far yes. as Joy, yes. I felt like she's okay. She's an okay actress. I even watched her in Afem, is it Afem Funa? I don't know whether I'm saying it right, but she okay, did a good job. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I think she's a good actress. I didn't even know that she's Nigerian. When I looked her up, but apparently she was born in Zimbabwe. She was raised in Nigeria. Because at first I was thinking is she sort of like mixed. But she does a good job mm-hmm. also as the love interest. So overall, I think they did a good job. And me, I would give it like an 8 out of 10 for my rating. Because I feel like it's okay. But like as romance, I wouldn't really feel like it's the best romantic movie. What about mm-hmm. you? What rating would you yeah. give it? I think I'll give it an 8 or so, yeah, yeah. I don't know. I but, feel like I don't. Why? Is it, okay, I chose as a, as a romance based on. Although, like the movie had like a like it had so much. Uh, like it was yeah, more. Yeah, it, it does. Romance, you get. Yeah, it was but, more than romance actually. Having to be like so weak because of joy, like. Yeah, like, he really loves joy, Cha. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but yeah, but you know what, to be fun. honest, I feel like him and Rekha, even though they were sleeping together, I feel like they were a better fit because both of them are sort of like yeah, they really, just want to exactly. live life to the fullest. 
I feel yeah. like both of them would actually, their own love story would have even been sweeter because it Better. makes more sense. But yes. I still was still such a good story. Like, like, she would not test him. She, she, uh -huh. she, she she's like, whatever. Money, <laughs> yeah, like, she's like, ah, she's about, like yeah. church money. We are going to get church mm -hmm. money. She's so funny, yeah. dude. <laughs> but yeah. Money. <laughs> so yeah, definitely for a romance movie, you should watch The Man of God. I would say also for like the drama, such a good storyline. So that's another movie you should watch in yeah, Netflix awesome. that's you know from Nollywood. Yeah. So now yeah. let's get to our third movie. And the theme is action. So what should people watch for ah. action in Nollywood? Yes. Hmm, glamour girls. Oh we, this was, I, I I think within 2021 and 2022, we had like good Netflix movies. Because mm -hmm. when I was seeing this movie, I was like, ah, Netflix, Nigerian movies, Hollywood. Yeah. Movies, they their time to give us nice, clean movies with really yeah. good stories. Like, uh, nah, mm -hmm. they really good work during that time. time. So, yeah, Gamma Girls. Hmm. Yes. This movie mm -hmm. is a really sweet one, though. This one, yeah, I really it was enjoyed. good. You know, one thing I love about this movie was the fact that, you know, we had different characters and yeah. each character had their own unique, their own unique features. We yeah. said from Emma, this whole, this street girl that just wanted to make money out of life. Uh -huh. yeah. She wanted to, to make, and she wanted to make this money. Like, everything uh. she just wanted to be that Lagos big girl, you get mm -hmm. So, also, she... I enjoyed Donna's character. You understand mm -hmm. that? Okay, yeah, she was like this because of the kind of work she does. She needed to yeah. have this whole, this bossy thing, you know, for people mm -hmm. to respect her and, you know, understand. Yeah. And, you know, not just look at her anyhow. So, yeah, I totally mm -hmm. understand. It. Although, I felt mm -hmm. like this one was really numb because, like, some part in the movie, I was kind of like, I was just, like, drowned. I was lost. I felt yeah. like it was too long. But I said mm -hmm. I love the, you know, this movie was classy. They spent money. It was. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I love the characters they used. You know, I yeah. enjoyed them. I love these guys. Uh, this girl's husband, um, it was Uzo Arikwe that played that character. Okay, whose hey, husband? Who was that is, is it Gem Gemma's um, husband? No, no, not Gemma's husband. Okay. Um, this girl, what is her name? Uh, it's the one with the Igbo tongue now, that guy. Oh, okay, talking about Igbo. Oh, oh, okay, her husband, yeah, right? Yeah, oh, yeah. I did. Uh, that. Yes, you know, I was also going to go on. It brought me up. I love the man. He was like, oh, he's carrying the show down back. Yeah, exactly. So I enjoyed yes. that character to, you know, Honestly. this classic woman with so much yes. love. I was like, you know, mm -hmm. where our money was coming yes. from, but was still enjoying it, you know. <laughs> and also, Gemma, and, you know, that. I love the whole classism. I love the way yeah. this movie was really, really classic. I really mm -hmm. enjoyed it a lot. And that yeah. guy, Mbele, I've watched that is in that one too. That mm -hmm. Ghanaian guy, I think Lembele, that was his name in the movie or something. Okay. The bodyguard, the bodyguard. I also mm -hmm. enjoyed the character. And I enjoyed the mask character. And you know, funny enough, this movie, yeah. I think this movie was the first Sharon Rogers movie I saw. Because like then, I, I don't think I've seen them, but when I said that, I was so excited. I'm like, wow. Oh, wow. I really enjoyed that character. But well, yeah, mm. he portrayed the character. Well, although the first phase of the movie was all about her, but the second phase, I think her character shifted back then. We got yeah. into the Donut character. And yeah, yeah. Donut character. to me, that's the, she was the best to me, Sha. Yeah. Yeah. yeah to be honest, so for really Sharon, enjoyed. like, yeah, I first saw Sharon just in Oloto. Like, that was just the first time okay, I now saw her in the movie. And I was like, oh, she's really good. Yeah. And I liked yeah. her acting, though. Like, you know, she's also very fun. And she's like, oh, yeah, she wants to, you know, leave the streets. She wants to live this life as a Lagos babe. Yeah, she was really mm -hmm. good. But to me, I feel like, well, first of all, what I really liked is that I feel like all the women who acted in this film, they were like so good. Like, their acting was like top notch. Yeah, but to me, I feel like Donna's character. I think how the, the way they pronounce her name is say Ikpe, but Donna's character is like awesome. And you know Donna, she's been acting for a while, so she was like mm -hmm. the boss babe. And I think she, they did a good job. I would give it like yeah. a 7 out of 10 for me. I think it's like a 7 out of 10. I don't know about you. <laughs> yeah, I'll give it a 7 also. I, just, yeah. I love the way the movie was constructed. It was really yeah. clean. Like very, I love it. It was really intriguing. Yeah. I love, you know, the it was really long, but you know, you just mm. feel alive watching it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so now, next, yeah. Now, next for the fourth movie, 
I want us to talk about a movie that focuses on gender-based violence. So what movie should people watch on Netflix for, or Nollywood that focuses on that theme? Hmm. Wildflower. Yes. This, <laughs> this movie is a movie about a young lady, well, I guess. Yes. You know, a professional mm -hmm. lady looking for a job. Yes. And, you know, she had this wife, you know, of a certain Mr. Gowon. You know, she looked mm -hmm. up to me. She, she, like she, if she had an opportunity to work with him, like she literally bow for him and just you know do the right thing from because like she really looked up to him a lot. She admired him so well. So yes. finally, she got to start working with him, and you know she was not so conscious of him. You know, he had a kind of certain kind of character. He was quite you know quite bossy at some point. He was mm -hmm. not like so proud, and this character was portrayed by DME or Konlawo. I really enjoyed the character a lot. I love the way you yeah. embody the character. So, and also, I guess, too, she also portrayed the character because, you know, she acted this timid, this naive young mm -hmm. lady. Yeah. Even in her compound where she had so many drama happening. Once, <laughs> this, I like the way they did this movie. Once did that, you know, once did that, oh, I almost got pissed at this movie. You know that scene where, you know, she was with her boss, her boss was trying to rape her and also, you know, yeah. we're having a transition between our own skin and our boss and trip and also our neighbor. Yeah. I don't know, their neighbor trying to rape her also. Uh -huh. I'm thinking in my head, are we going to have four of this movie? Oh, oh my God. To so be honest, yeah, the film is difficult to watch. Uh, it's difficult. It's not like a film movie, you like, it's a bit difficult. So yeah, mm -hmm. it's but so sad. I love sad. the fact that, yeah, yeah, I love the fact that, you know, it just shows that you, you are telling me that okay, I should be very conscious of this person. Mm -hmm. We are still a devil in front of you, but you are not going to the devil because, like, you are so blinded because you have, like, you know, put him in a certain high esteem. So, you are not yeah. seeing the effort is coming towards you. So, I love the fact mm -hmm. that Dolly has defended herself. And, you yeah. know, like, uh, I just, I like the way she upheld the character, you know. Honestly, you know, yeah, roundabout like yeah. yeah. And also, mm -hmm. I don't like that too, you know, acting like this young lady. She wanted yeah. a peaceful home, but mom and her dad, you know, every city market day, they were always fighting and, you know. Yeah. But it was so sad that her mom died to a oh, Yeah. You know, the mom too said she was not even listening. She had to put up a chance to talk to her. And, you know, know. But she was just all about, you know, her husband. She, was, she felt like she was also a man trying to be a loggerhead with her husband all the time. But yeah, this movie is the nice. And I think one of the things that I didn't like about this movie was like that court scene where, you know, where they were trying to try the Mr. Go on. Okay, it okay. It just felt too quick and, you know, just felt like they were okay. kind of like rushing it. Just Wanted it. them to like just stretch it out a yeah, bit and develop just, it. Yeah, yeah. I, I, yeah, I felt like they would have just, you know, taking their time to just this issue. Mm -hmm. It didn't really need to be so long, but they would have been in yeah. the they would have done it, have made sense. And also like how you know um, Rolly, our boyfriend, the way he after when he went to oh the yeah, country, yeah that's was true. Really yeah. Punch, I like you know, that guy. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it was calm about it. He was mature about it. So, yeah. yeah, yeah. Wow. Yeah, that movie. Like I feel like five stars for like especially for like gbv awareness that's one of my favorite mm -hmm. things about it and i even wrote about it on media because i feel like we see the lives of these three ladies you know so in abraham's we see domestic violence as the husband is yeah. beating her and then she dies because of it we see roller care story you know sexual harassment in the workplace adolisa's mm -hmm. story not only just sexual harassment rape adolisa's story you know yeah. somebody like trying to rape her sexual harassment like we see um, GBV, gender-based violence from three different women. So like the awareness yeah. was really good because we got to see different stories. And Rola K definitely, like she did such a good job. Like you said, like watching the movie, even though I really liked it, sometimes it was a bit difficult to watch, especially, you know, the scene where the boss like tried to, where the boss raped her actually. Like it was very, very sad to watch that. So, but she really acted well. I even like the scene where, um, there was the time when she's like having flashbacks and she's thinking about what's happened to her and you could tell that she's just feeling very emotional and she's thinking yeah, about it and she looks at the her. mirror and things like that and it's so sad but i also love this when she like sort of like you know stood up for herself and did this video recording so just um i think my favorite thing about it is the storyline and even though her boss like we don't like mr go on right Diami, like he still did such a good job as the villain guy like the way he just oh, yeah. cares like, he doesn't care what he's doing to all these women like it's terrible but he's acting though it makes you really want to like um make sure that there are consequences for men like that who think that they can do anything yeah, exactly. he wants to women so like he did a really good job and i let me add yeah 
you know, this mm-hmm. movie was, I think it was directed by Georgia Stevens, and, you know, Georgia, okay. I don't know if you know her, yeah. Like, she has, like, she, I think she does a lot with this whole gender-based violence. You know, oh, like, really? Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. A lot of our movies always, there's always something about her movie. I don't know if you've mm. seen him, sister. Like, she was the one that also did sister. And, like, so sister, many other okay. movies. Okay. Yeah. Our movies hmm. are always, there's always something about her movie. Is yeah, it on Netflix, really like sister? Movie, no, it's on Prime. Okay, okay, yeah, okay. Can you start saying the bank college? Probably you okay, should okay. Down. I'll look it up then. I'll look it up. Yeah. Okay. That's good to know that our she movie, focuses on all these GPP things. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Our movies are like, she always, a movie is the most, the songs is always interesting. <laughs> it's always something. Yeah. yeah a, a lot of our, yeah. I feel like a lot of our movies. And anytime mm. I, like, I see the movie, I'm like, the other students are. I always want to watch it because I know I'll be entertained. Yeah. Mm. So, no, yeah, she did a I'm, good I job. I'm, yeah. Going yeah, I'm going to give this an eight. Okay, okay. Eight. Ah, I thought you'd give it more than that, but ah, they, she tried though, the storyline, the acting. Yeah. No, <laughs> me, I feel like the movie, movie is better movie. than well, let me not say it's better though, but I feel like good for awareness compared to um Glamour mm-hmm. Girls and Oloto, even though they sort of like different forms of gbv but to me i feel like this is yeah. the one that people for yeah, gbv more that's pronounced. just my own yeah, yeah i think for my own like pronounced and more focused on those yeah. ones just keep speaking but this one's like mm-hmm. very like clear they are like really clear yeah. about it mm-hmm. yeah, okay so that. now we are coming to our fifth movie and the theme is my favorite theme comedy so if you want to watch a movie <laughs> and laugh on netflix in nollywood what should we watch? Comedy and action, actually. Yes, comedy and action. <laughs> yeah. yeah what this one is a mixture of both comedy and action. Yeah. So yeah. When I saw, I, I think I saw this movie in um, twenty. I think twenty twenty two thousand. I saw this movie. Wow. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think twenty twenty two. My favorite character in this movie was mm-hmm. the Driver. Ah. From Papua. <laughs> I was, so you know, funny. one thing I like that one, I like his character because I feel like he has, you know, he's like an actor, he's a really good actor because yeah. a lot of his movies, he portrays it well. Like if he, hmm. if you give him the role of a gay man, he's going to do it well. You give him the role hmm. of a rich man, he like you know the way he about the character. I was really really surprised. I don't know, yeah. if it was I don't even, I can't remember, I, don't, I can't say if that was like the first movie I saw of him, but I really enjoyed the way. He, you know, he's very expressive that. and animated. Yeah, very, yeah, very funny. You know, and so bad, yeah. so, so bored, You know, yeah, I really enjoyed this character. Oh so this God. movie is a movie about you know, Sole. Sole is like a Yoruba word. Like it means mm. you know, this roadside buses when you probably when you are traveling and you don't go and yeah. take buses from the park. So probably like you're on the roadside, those buses that come and pick people from the mm-hmm. roadside that are traveling, so they call them Sole. Okay. So yeah, that's so like, then. so that's what okay. like the Sole means, yeah. So this movie mm-hmm. is a movie about, you know, travelers and, you know, a person mm-hmm. driver and along the way, um, through their journey, they got robbed along the way and, you know, travelers having to have, engage inside, like have conversations and mm-hmm. different things and different opinions. It just basically shows Different people and their different characters, yeah. different pieces of Nigeria. You see the pastor side, you see, you see people that probably the way they look is not really pastor. Yeah, exactly. They have like a different sister there. Yes. They have like a, I think someone that sells um, I'll go and stuff like that. They're different people. So, you know, yes. what thing I like about this movie was the, the second phase of this movie was totally yes. different. I was oh, really shocked. Yeah. Like, was like, ah. Yes. It was intense, and, mm-hmm. and you know, I like the fact that they made this movie natural. You know that part, that part when they were trying, when one of those um, girls in that um, that woman what was Isioma, yeah, Isioma, yeah, I think mm. Isioma, because I think she last she was really was Isioma in this movie. So yeah, yeah, that yeah. stage where she kept those women. So you know, one of them was uh-huh. just dead. You know that bed whole process. You know the struggle, and you know although this thing kind of felt very sensitive but i think i like that they made us yes. feel, they made us feel how this, they made it so natural that you literally feel how you could see how these things are for these people you get yeah but that scene was a bit yeah, confusing because I, I feel like she was was she holding the women captive and then like it was somehow and then some people were just sleeping with each other i feel like that scene to me i was even confused about what was happening but 
it was no, intense think, though, um, but it was also kind of yeah. confusing to me. For that, for that scene, it's like you know she yes. takes people, um, yes. on really like without their view, then she put, uh-huh. then she bring people to you know sleep with them and they get pregnant. You know, I think she sells the baby. It's like business. Okay, so okay, like, like all these baby dog, selling yeah. business. Okay, exactly. now I understand. Yeah, that's, yeah exactly. Then, what she does. Yeah, that's uh-huh. what she does. So you know. Okay. So a woman dressed this way, you know, tight scarf. She was Catholic. in this coat and that. Yeah, she was like the least. She was yes. just like a normal regular. Person unexpected. Yes. Yeah, yes. unexpected. And I was so sure. I was like, eh? I was. <laughs> I was so sure. I was surprised. I, yeah, I didn't yeah. see where this movie was going to. Like, I didn't mm-hmm. see where she was going to. For the second phase, I really like what they because you know from the start you know yeah. these driver people talking and I, in my head i was wondering yeah. okay, when, when is he going to take it off to and like uh-huh. the second phase was really, yeah yeah no it was and really good like to be honest movie. like i laughed so much and this is the first time that i'm seeing on um, this sean fakua like i've not seen him in anything before there's this guy that i'm used mm-hmm. to seeing this funny guy that usually plays the security guard he's very funny but like he really made me laugh as the driver like he doesn't care like he's just doing his own thing and also surprisingly, mm-hmm. like Latif's role as Julius, because I kind of see him as a serious actor. He made me laugh for the way he was just acting so crazy yeah. in the bus. Like, yeah. <laughs> like he needs to get the bus. And he was part of the whole plot, right? So he did such yeah. a good job. That pastor, I felt like he was always rhyming whenever he was preaching to them. Oh, in the name of the God, Lord, this and that, and still condemning people. Seriously, that pastor cracked me up. Like, I really laughed a lot. I felt like it was more of a comedy than action because to me, when we got to that scene where we saw how it's all of these women and they were getting pregnant, me, I was a bit confused, right? Because, like, it didn't make sense to me. But I still feel like her acting, though, her acting was really good. So, yeah, I feel like it's a really good movie. Most people acted very well. And the storyline, like like you said, it's unexpected. Towards the end, you don't really expect them to sort of like, oh, each gets like some form of the money and figure out what they are going to do with it. So yeah, it was a really good movie. Like I really liked it though. And I feel like people will just like have such a good time watching this movie. I feel like like yeah. nine out of 10 as a comedy and, a, and as an action movie also, like it was definitely really good. What rating would you give it? <laughs> I give it an eight. Ah uh-uh. ah, hi eight. <laughs> nah, I me, mean, I laughed too much. I had to give it a nine. Like I thought it was really good though. <laughs> yes. I I feel like an eight is good for the movie also. Uh, Although they you? tried, I, I think they tried. They also tried the replacement, so I would not say it was bad. They tried the replacement. Yeah. I think the flop yeah. movie just just little too flop, mm-hmm. too flop. Yeah. yeah yeah but it was really good interesting so that is it people those are like our top five movies netflix in hollywood that you should watch number one you have to watch the griots for like drama it's such a really great storyline number two for romance the man of god it's such a sweet story and also the storyline is very interesting and unexpected the way things end third movie glamour girls like the women who are in this movie like they are such like powerful strong women a lot of really great acting Really great movie as far as drama, action, fourth movie, Wildflower. It's really heartbreaking. It's difficult to watch, but for gender-based violence, it's a really good movie. And if you want to have a good laugh, like Sole is such a fun movie. So yeah, definitely watch those movies. And I'd like to know your thoughts, whether you've watched them, what are you, what's your favorite movie in Netflix of Nollywood? Definitely share your thoughts. If you haven't yet, do subscribe to my channel. And of, of course, um, Movie Genius, she does like so many movie reviews. And it's just so fun to like watch a movie and hear what she has to say. Like for movie lovers, you definitely would know to like follow her, join her channel, subscribe to her channel. And I do like mostly movie reviews on Medium. So you can definitely like follow me on Medium. So yeah, I had such fun having this discussion with you. Is there something else you want to add? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I had fun doing this. Like, yeah, this like my first collaboration, and yeah, I'm so excited. I'm glad that we did this. Yeah, yes. I hope to do more of this also. Mm-hmm. Yeah, please also subscribe yeah. to the movie. Yeah.